the Honorable Member for Trinity Spadina. I thank you and all members of the House for this opportunity to respond to the remarkable tributes to the Honourable Member for Toronto Danforth, the Mon Coeur Jadid Mex. And from my heart, I say thank you. Thank you, thank you. I express both my gratitude and my renewed resolve. First, to the leader of Her Majesty's loyal opposition and Canada New Democrats. I wish to express my gratitude for her faith and trust in assuming stewardship of our party at this crucial time. I thank her for her support and friendship, and most of all, I thank her for her leadership. Mr. Speaker, I wish to convey my heartfelt gratitude to the Prime Minister for the honor he showed, not just to my family and New Democrats, but all Canadians, by declaring a state funeral. I thank him for the comfort and support both he and Lorraine Harper have provided to me and my family, both publicly and privately. I thank him today for his eloquent tribute in this House today. And to all other leaders, thank you for your thoughtful tributes. I also wish to thank members of this House from all parties who have been so supportive and who have passed on condolences from their constituents in every part of this country. The generosity of Canadians has been a source of great strength for me and for our family in these past weeks. And among the condolences, our family has heard from so many other brave and courageous people who have been living with cancer or who have lost loved ones to the disease. Like them and like generous Canadians in their millions, I am resolved to carry forward with hope and continue fighting the seas until there is a cure. As I was doing the Terry Fox run yesterday, I was filled with optimism that with tens of thousands of Canadians participating together, we can outrun cancer. I have been overwhelmed in the past weeks and days by so many inspiring messages everywhere, in condolences books, in cards and tributes, in letters to the editor, in emails, in blogs and Twitters, and for me, most memorably, in chalk at Toronto City Hall, where both Jack and I served on council. I have been overwhelmed with messages from youth and children, from women, from immigrants, from our First Nations, from Quebecois and Maritimers and Westerners and Ontarians. So many messages that were inspired by Jack Layton and his message of hope, optimism and love. And so many messages that he himself would have been inspired by, especially youth, especially the ones that looked beyond the grief and saw the possibility of moving forward and building a better Canada and a better world. The chalk at City Hall has washed away, but those messages will be with me forever. They are part of my renewed resolve, my resolve to continue and build on Jack's legacy. A resolve built on values that were the guiding light for Jack Layton. Values shared by so many in this house and across the country. Our fundamental Canadian values of generosity, justice and equality. Of course, it was easy for us to be hopeful and optimistic when Jack was around. The tough part is now. What makes it easier for me, what makes it even possible, is that so many people have understood the message and been inspired. What makes it possible is that so many are prepared to give politics and politicians a chance again. And they will be watching us as we move Canada forward. What makes it possible, Mr. Speaker, 
is the knowledge that this House of Commons, which was so important to Jack, is more representative of Canada and our diversity than ever before. And that is in large part due to his leadership and his unending quest for equality and justice. For giving a voice to the voiceless, to the people who thought they were on the margins, for empowering people who thought they had no power, for remembering that all of us who have the privilege to serve in this house are empowered by those very people we serve, for remembering that together we have power to make positive changes which will benefit all Canadians. We do have that power, Mr. Speaker. I am resolved to move forward to help make the dreams that Jack and I share for 30 years a reality for future generations. C'est possible. C'est tout. It is possible. It is always possible. We saw evidence today of our shared humanity. We heard words rarely spoken in this house of hope and optimism and love. And that suggests a better Canada is possible. It is possible. <laughs> it is possible to move Canada forward, to make Canada a better and more prosperous place where no one is left behind. Mes amis, travaillons on My friends, let's work together. Tell you, it can't be done. <laughs>